What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft. Hopefully we can do a little better this time than we did with our 03 last time. I think we've 03 would twice. Not bad, considering we have 8 trophies. I'm okay with 8 trophies. La, 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 I just drafted a Golgari Tooth and Nail, got the Golemog and Emrakul on the board. Five drop Nisses. Five drop Nisses is very, very good. I agree with you. I think I'm going to leave with this Obnixilis. I don't think any any cards in this pack are really speaking to me outside of Obnixilis. I'm a big fan of five mana planeswalkers that plus to draw a card and negative to, to kill a creature. For every match you win, I'll give out a gift sub. Wow, that's pretty good. Is that a reverse tip? I don't know if that if that works that way, but I, I accept it. I accept your terms. I do like search as well. Um, search is good for a reanimator deck. Ooh, that's interesting. Interesting. Maybe this miscalculation comes back. People undervalue miscalculation. I'm going to do it. You guys convinced me to take this search for Azkanta. You find folks over at twitch.tv.usa. I'm going to hope this Nicobolus comes back, and we're going to either take Ancestral or Snappy. I'm not sure which, though. Failed preschool. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I actually don't know what it is here. Could be this one. Could be this one. Hmm. I'll take Snapcaster. Uh, there was another card off screen. No, there's never another card off screen. I don't actually do that. I don't know why Gabby and Luis do that. Is there another card off the screen? That doesn't make any sense. I literally have always had it in such a way that, like... I don't know. We'll check in the next pack. That would be really weird if I've been just missing all these first picks, right? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever, though. I like Primeval Titan more than I like Jace. I like Demon Lord Bells and Lock. They do it because they hate Jace. It's so weird, dude. I feel like I owe you this switch time for hours of entertainment. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, it's, it's probably Jace, right? Bells and Locks, pretty sweet though. This is like my least favorite Gideon. I want to go back and look at some videos real quick and, and make sure I'm not doing that. Uh, here's one. One, two, three. Yeah, no, I think they get bigger. The cards get... Oh, Treachery? This is a fourth pick Treachery? Oh, my God. It's not a matter of screen resolution sizes. I can just make the cards bigger and smaller. But they don't do that. Like, it's very strange. <laughs> like, it, it, it is a matter of screen resolutions, but, I mean, you can just change it. So... I'm going to take Remove Soul. That's solid removal. And we got a Snapcaster Mage already. I feel like it's very easy to make the mono blue deck in this cube, and uh, here's a Teferi to prove me right. <sighs> sort of Fire and Ice is also one of my favorite swords. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then there's a Teferi. Two cards are coming back. Blue Doomblade. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, you're talking about Remove Soul. I thought you meant this guy. I was like, that's kind of funny. Because you can just flash him in during combat. They can't do anything, and then he gets to block. Ch 
Journey and Koth. Those are the, those are cards in the pack. Yeah, Teferi's not coming back, but sort of Fire and Ice Man, but I'm going to take the Teferi. Maloku, I don't care about. Vraska's Contempt, I like a lot, especially with Snapcaster Mage. I want to put you in the sideboard for now. I like Duplicant. Duplicant's good if we are just mono blue. Actually, let's just take the Duplicant. As a mono blue deck, Duplicant's just fine. It's great removal. I'm really just waiting for pack two so I can see, I can make sure we're not like missing a pack. Teferi Jr. This is Teferi Sr., isn't it? Like, wouldn't this be old Teferi? This is like the oldest Teferi there is. Mm, got a Brawl. Brawl actually could be pretty good. Also, Mere Battlesphere. I mean, I'm not sure Black has felt cut. We saw Bitter Blossom, Vraska's Contempt, and Kalidus in the past, past three packs. Mere Battlesfield does give us a nice little late game, though. I'll take the Brawl for now. Um, I like Electrolyze better than Seachrome Coast. Plus, we can keep ourselves open for any kind of combo shenanigans that we might get. Urk, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate the support. Eh, same reason. Eh, same reason. I don't think red seems open. Like, none of these cards are, like, indicative of red being open to me. Like, Collector Defiance and St Stoke the Flames are just kind of... Just because there's red cards in the pack doesn't necessarily mean the, the archetype's open, unfortunately. These are not high picks. Tangle wire? Why is Tangle wire in this cube? There's no smokestack deck in this cube. I'll just take Gideon. We could have a, we we passed Seachrome Coast, Glacial Fortress. We passed a bunch of uh, blue white lands. Thunderbird Regent. All right. Well, what's the flavor of it being in the cube if it's a flavor card? Journey to Nowhere. So we have a nice little white deck over here and a nice little red deck, so. People trip over? I don't know if that's flavor, though. Is that flavor? That doesn't even make any sense. That's just literally what happens. That's not really how flavor works, though. I think it's I think it's done raining. I think Florida had its five minutes of rain today. And now, we, we're, now we're done. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. There is a card down there. How long has that been going on? I've had that. Maybe I don't. Did someone move this? That's weird. I wonder how many picks I've missed. I don't know when this changed though. I usually have it like this so that I can see all the cards, and uh, I have no idea why that that would have been gone. That's really disconcerting. So I just checked. I'm going to take this Pester Mite for obvious reasons. So hold on. That's really weird. They should have some kind of indication. 
So this is 916. This went up yesterday. Yeah, yesterday's was fine. Oh, I guess that happened. It might have happened in between then. Because this is from this is from the video that went up yesterday, but th that was also like three days ago. Yeah, and you can see all the cards. You can see every card here. So, very strange. Sulphur Falls? I think Sulphur Falls is the pick here. I don't think it's Emrakul. Like, we already took a Pestermite, so we can plan on going into this, uh, this blue-red deck here. Maybe there was an MTG update. I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and, and look at the videos, the most recent video, and then I'll just work backwards and figure out which one, like, where the change took place. Because I'm wondering how many drafts I've done where I just missed a pick. That's weird. Uh, nothing great in here. Impulse is probably fine. Yeah, this pack's pretty unimpressive. Okay. This is the most recent draft that I did that was before to the channel YouTube comments. Oh, Sulfur Falls. Yeah, even on the video yesterday, they're all there. So that's weird. I have no idea when it would have happened. I guess it just happened today sometime. You got me. I'm as confused as anyone. Faraska Stoneforge Mystic is interesting. Animate Dead is interesting. Preordain is probably the pick here. Yeah, that's true though. Chat or YouTube comments would have definitely told me if I missed cards. Are we still good on this guy? I wonder. The problem is I don't think any other card in this pack is that good. It's not Jackal Pup or Crater's Claws. These two are obviously not great. And we're also not 100% on the red, so, you know. Sphinx is red? We have literally no white. I like Negate a lot. I also like Sower of Temptation. I think it's probably Sower of Temptation. I also don't even think that's that close. It's your boy. All right. Tefri out, Kikijiki in. Also, Tefri's pretty good if we do manage to get uh, a bunch more fixing lands. Ooh, I like Spell Skype because then we can redirect their their hateful removal. A Braid, also good. All three of these are great. I don't think we need a Venser, though. I think it's actually Spell Skype. We want to be able to protect our Pestermite and our Deceiver Exarch and our Kikijiki, etc., etc., etc. But my boy Venser, Venser's my boy as well. I agree with you. However. <laughs> oh, there you go. I like Forbid a lot, though. Might be better than Imperial Recruiter. I don't think so. Imperial Recruiter gets literally every card in our deck right now. It gets Tempest Gin, Pestermite, Sower of Temptation, 
Snapcaster Mage, Spellskite, Brawl. It gets literally every card in our deck. I'm going to take this in case we open that sneak attack. That is a late Emrakul, and y'all people have no respect. Tefri gets no love when Venser shows up. Oh, that's real sad. Oh, that's real sad. <sighs> My only problem with um, Imperial Recruiter is that I never want to take a turn off to just play that in the cube. I feel like that's really bad for you. Oh, boy. Uh, we'll get Hollow Found in case we get, like, an Arid Mesa. So if you end up just getting, um, like, I never want to just go turn three and pure recruiter. Like, it just feels bad. We could sneak in the Kiki combo, too, for two mana. Opposition. We're not an opposition deck. Two great black lands, but eh, we're not black. We can just take Frost Titan, which I think is totally fine. Yeah, I like Frost Titan as a solid win condition. I cannot see us taking the white recruiter in any in any real situation here. Uh for one, it doesn't get to see Varex Arc if we hit that. It also uh is much more limited on the creatures it can hit. Opposition's good in any cube. That's that kind of goes without saying. I like Glorybringer here, actually. Stroke of Genius is just a... It's just a... Uh, oh, Inferno Titan? Inferno Boy? And Lightning Bolt? Jesus. I want to take the Inferno Titan, I think. Do we need another six drop? Oh god, I don't think so. I don't think so. It might just be Bolt, especially with Snapcaster. God, I think it's just Bolt. Ooh, Jace Friend's Prodigy is a nice pickup. Another another plateau. Let me have Hollow Fountain and Plateau. Cyclonic Rift also very, very good if we can hit seven mana. I think it's Jace. I think it's Jace because it also get, we can search for it with Repair Recruiter and we can dig, which is super nice. I'm going to take Jace. I do not foresee Cyclonic Rift wheeling, but... We don't actually have white. We have one Hollow Fountain to cast any white cards. I have absolutely no desire to put white in our deck just for Restoration Angel. You're kind of iffy. Oh, we can force spike him. We're probably just going to carry those, though. Yeah, I think we're going to carry those here. Carry those is super good. Do you have Kerr? What does that mean? Explain what you're saying right now. Locust God? Oh, I like Fiery Confluence. Fiery Confluence is nice because it can kill off... Uh... No, it can't kill Planeswalkers anymore, I guess. Do you even cur? <laughs> that does make more sense. Opt is fine. I like Fire Confluence a lot. I think it's a fantastic spell. It's a fantastic spell. I think we're at a point where we're not going to see Splinter Twin or Sneak Attack, though, so. That's unfortunate. What is this? 22 plus 14, 36. So we have two more, two more picks that we haven't yet to see. 
Uh, Kira's not great in the Kikijiki deck, so I'm going to take Legacy's Allure, because that is actually good. Third win con? I think we have more than three. We have Frost Titan, Karanos, the combo. We have Glorybringer. We have Treachery to steal their guy. Sower to steal their guy. I mean, this is a good amount of win conditions. Meh. Oh, Noble, Noble Destructionist is fine. I think we can play that, dude. People have been getting me got with... Uh, what does Legacy's Allure do? It's a... Uh, it's a control magic. You put a counter on it, treasure counter on it during each of your upkeeps. You sacrifice to gain control of a creature with power less than or equal to the number of counters on it. So, I'll just take anger. Well, we got the combo. I don't know. I actually just took Origin Chandra out of my cube. So, look at that. Mimic Vat came back. Y'all ain't got no respect. I need one cut. Probably Tempest Gin. Oh, wow. Wow. Scoove. That's unbelievable. Sacred Foundry, huh? Entomb. All right. Well, even that guy's not terrible. That's unbelievable. We have Ulamog and the good Ulamog and the good Emrakul in our in our sideboard. We need one cut still. You can probably cut Fiery Confluence and board it in. Yeah, this seems good. I actually want to go eight nine. Eight eight ten. Because we need triple blue, triple red here, but our deck is predominantly blue. I think all the other drafters were not seeing all the cards too. Yeah, that would make sense. This hand is great. Brawl into Impulse and Rosal seems good. I want to see Plelosa at some point. I think you may underrate it. It's really, really strong. Is it really? It's six mana. Like, it's six mana. That's my only concern. It doesn't do anything when it hits the board. I believe Eureka's in the cube. I'm not sure, though. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. Now I can play Jace and keep up Remove Soul. Maybe I should have attacked there? I don't know. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, that seems like a, a pretty ridiculous step, and also like um, this is why I usually accept donations for Stips, so that, like, when I just jump in a queue and I don't start just hemorrhaging money, because I'm probably not going to win a Stip like that. Hmm. 
You got it. They have two cards left in hand? Huh. The alphabet is actually pretty hard. Ooh, treachery? Oh, I like Snapcaster here. Oh, but I don't want to put treachery on the bottom. Yikes. Yikes. Actually, we can grab treachery and go find something else. We only have one mountain, so I don't think we're actually Imperial Recruitering for... Yeah, I'm going to take the treachery. I feel like it's pretty good right now against the green deck. What are we getting here? Snapcaster, probably? Yeah, being able to keep up our move soul here is pretty good. Yikes. Glorybringer one time. Or bread mana one time. That's pretty good. Attack and exert. Attack your face. Actually, just going to kill the Lotus Cobra here. I think that's more valuable to them. Lucky, 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 lucky. Woo! All right. Well, they get a window here, but we only had a room of soul anyway, so yeah, that's fine. And they're drawing a forest. F. I'm actually tempted to steal this because we have a remove soul on the top still. And I just kind of want the body. Like, give me that body. One, two, three, four, five. Always yield to that. I don't see us. I don't foresee you trading with me here. Now you're going to draw a forest, we know. Oh, uh, I see what you got there. I'm going to counter this. I don't think we're going to loot here because you know it's a duplicate, so... Actually, we probably should have held the land, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so you're playing a big, dumb green deck. Oh, look, we can't zoom in anymore. This is nice. This is nice. I'm going to re-log in during the next match. I almost like Anger here just because they got a bunch of little idiots. Oh, I almost tried to zoom in. I didn't didn't let, didn't like that. I'll take out the spell skite. I think anger is probably better than fiery confluence just because of the casting cost. Um, fiery confluence is also very very good, but I guess they could actually have artifacts as well. Uh, I think this is actually fine. All right, we'll do this again.
I'm so sad right now. I last placed Manalo Cookie without realizing it was the last. Yeah, be that's that's funny because you can actually like, there's a different level of appreciation you have for the very last thing. And I'm sorry you didn't get to prepare yourself for that. That is not. Uh, that's not fair. Yeah, that's cool. Let's discuss the number of characters in my Magic Online password. That's that's a cool thing to do and doesn't make someone feel extremely concerned about security. Baral. Boom. Alright, so we got N Nimble Destruction has actually killed us before. That is a nice early Garuk. Garuk is on fire. So we can go Anger, they'll put Garuk up to three. Yeah, let's let's stop talking about Frank's password because Frank has a lot of money in his Magic Online account and uh, just don't really care about discussing it. I don't really feel, I don't feel like anger is here. Anger is here. We can actually just pass. We can easily get a block out of, uh, out of Brawl here. Yeah, anybody who makes password suggestions is going to get timed out for a little bit because it's actually not, it's not really funny. I mean, if we were talking about, like, the password for my Hungry Howie's account, that's one thing. But, like, this is basically, like... I mean, your Magic Online account, depending on how much money you have in it, is almost like a bank account. So, it's just not funny. Um, huh. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Well, we are definitely uh, wiping the board here. Counter it? I, oh yeah, I'd love to. I wish I had a counter. I'm actually not going to block because anger is going to cost us two. So if we draw like a remove soul or something, I also will cast this guy to attack the Garrick. So I mean, at least I don't. I don't care about stifling it when I'm an anger of the gods. Anger of the gods. Oh, actually, we can play both of the... No, no, we can't. Dang it. Nope. Go after the Garuk. Oh, actually, we can cast both. We can deal two to everything and then deal three to everything. Yeah, we can do that. Two to each creature. Nope, we can't. We need four red. Dang it. Duh. That's stupid. We only have three red. We actually have three. We have four red. We need three. We have three red. We need four is what you what you what you need. What you need to say. Yep. Well, I guess we have a bunch of draws. And they only have four lands. So we could hit like Sower, Treachery, Frost Titan, and Duplicant are both answers. We could Jace this turn for a thing. Yeah, give all those plants counters. That's a cool dude. Do I just play that? Or do I Jace here? Ugh. We're going to play Karanos because if we hit a land, we get to draw an extra card. If we don't hit a land, um, we get to shoot this and Fiery Confluence the board. So We also take seven here, which is a lot. 
Not a fan of seven damage. Sure. Oh, yes. And it's a land. Go to one. That's pretty sad. <laughs> oh, man. Here's two lands in a row. Oh, thanks. This one Avenger of Zendikar is going to kill us with no friends. Going at us. All right, so we get to draw off Jason off this. So, all right, we could be okay. Depending on if they go land Woodfall Primus, I guess. I don't know what that's going to do. I guess they can kill Jace. And then we just don't have an answer to it. Green Warden. What do you get back? Garrick Wildspeaker? Sure. I'm not sure how we deal with all of these things now. That's not going to do it. That is a blocker. Ooh. Hello. So they have Garrick in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. We can play this and a recruiter. Yep, that's pretty okay. Yeah, well, I mean, we're definitely getting Kiki Jiki here one way or the other. We could also get Duplicant. I think it's Kiki Jiki. And Karanos is online. Oh, that's very good. If they don't have an answer to Kiki Jiki, we're actually in surprisingly solid shape. If they kill Sora, we are dead, though. I mean, yeah, but... It's a green deck, and there's no, like, plummet in the cube, so. Hornet Queen's fine. We can fire a Confluence for one. Get rid of a bunch of those dudes. We can Kiki Jiki, Copy Recruiter. I think we just win here, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just going to win. Oh, got it. Woo! Yeah, but if they had Beast with him, we still don't lose. Like, we, we get rid of this. They steal this back, but they can't attack with it. So their only attackers that turn would have been these two guys. And we would have Imperial Recruiter and Beast within token to block. So we can go block 1-1, one, one, block 1-1. One, one. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. These one life games. Wow. <laughs> Opponents are like, what do you have, one life? And I'm like, yeah, that seems fine, right? <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> Valley Man with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Good to his word. All right, what do we got here? This hand's keepable. If not a little bit... Uh, we can do this. We got this. I should have got a drink, but I don't know why I didn't get up. I didn't get up and do anything between these rounds. Between these drafts. Mmm. I like. One hundred percent times more life than zero. That's. I think it's actually, inf infinite times more life than zero. Right. I don't know what. The, how does math work out? We got any math majors in this chat? You got it. Send it to the dome. Yeah, I'll just uh, lightning bolt your face. I know math. Well, prove it. Put your money where your mouth is. Put your math where your mouth is. Do the math is what I'm saying to you here. <laughs> oh, God. All right, here we go. The difference between 1 and 0 in magic math is actually huge. Again, PhD, I wouldn't challenge it. That's fair. I can uh, I can appreciate that. I wish we had nimble obstructionist mana. Then we could obstructionist this, the activation and the next turn we can just bolt it. But right now, what did you hit? Baral? And a, yeah, it's fine. Combo online. All right, just need the maths. Just need the lands. Yeah, that's fine. We're just going to hard cast an Emblem Obstructionist, I think. Do 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 do. I guess I should have waited in case they have like a firebolt or a sorcery speed thing, but they didn't, and we win. One win at one life buck. Barman, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> it's all sometimes that's all you need. All you need is buck. Buck. Win at one life buck. Well, we can't really do anything here. Tempted to tap down their swamp, but I don't know if that I don't know if that does anything. I didn't see the notification either. I don't know if I've seen any notifications. Have I seen notifications? Hold on, let's find out. What did you get a little Jace baby and a treachery? Why are you the way that you are? That's where they go, Bone Shredder. Dread Boar, sure. All you need is blobs. Blobs, really? Sure. All these things are just annoying. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting a dog if you live in an apartment, as long as your apartment is okay with dogs, and as long as you guys can uh, take the dog out 
and uh, give it the appropriate amount of uh, exercise that it needs. Other than that, like, those are literally the only restrictions. So. I don't think this does anything. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just playing terribly right now. I'm going to tap down your... Because then they just tap it in response, right? Yeah, which is they're going to do. That was not ideal. Do you recommend a baby horse for an apartment? Yeah, I still do. Okay, that's fine. I thought it was going to be something cool. Mother of God. All you need is blobs. Blobs. I'm pretty sure we're just dead to Ashiok, which is super weird. Do you recommend a baby shark for an apartment? Do you have a bathtub that can hold a baby shark? I wonder if they negative two to Jace Friend's Prodigy and then we just go Cyclonic Rift. Kaboom. Where are my other red sources at, man? Come on. Eight red sources in the deck? We hit one of them. We got Kikijiki in hand. Kikums McJikums. Wow, all I want is a shark with a laser beam attached to its head? Matthew Ori, that is an old reference. That's like a 25-year-old reference, buddy. All you need is love. What is your opinion on pet birds? I actually love birds. Birds are probably some of my favorite animals. I've never had them as pets, though, because I live in Florida, and it's pretty much required to have a, a fan, uh, like a ceiling fan. And you can't actually have... Like, I mean, you can, but it's... I don't, I don't actually know if you can. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't have birds with ceiling fans. Um, because it just seems like a bad idea. I know it's not recommended. I don't know if there's like uh, if that's a if that's a hard and fast bird rule. But I like intelligent animals. I'm a big fan of intelligent animals. And I think birds are actually some of the most intelligent animals there are. Wow. Get a little Dr. Value Town over here. Each player discards. I'll discard a duplicate. Cyclonic Rift still seems like it could be very good, and Kiki Jiki is still game winning at this point, so. Hmm. Which planeswalker do we kill? Probably we're at like seven cards. Yeah, let's kill this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, they actually we might not actually have a third red source. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think we actually were actually priced out of casting this. That's extremely sad. I'm 
pretty sure I just want to bounce this Liliana. I don't care about all these other little nerds. Sulfur Falls is already over here. Can we pull back anything from Exile? I don't think we have the ability to do it, unfortunately. Can't Cyclonic our own mountain because it's it's not it's permanent, you don't control. None of these cards work the way you think they work. Nickel Bolas. And then it doesn't matter. Yep. Cool. Let's make sure. Three, four, five, six. Yep. Literally no mountains left. Alright. Yeah, Cyclonic is non-land, so like multiple ways this does not work that way. Um Grim Lava Mancer actually seems pretty good. Cyclonic Rift actually doesn't because they have a ton of like value creatures. Same thing with Duplicant. We'll play Locust God over Duplicant here. We'll, we'll make Josh VR happy. Josh. Why did I say Josh VR? That's not what it is at all. Josh VS. Virtual reality, Josh. I will play first. This hand seems great. I will keep it. Life is a simulation. I want to ride it all night long. I was just talking crap. They got me banned for a bit. Just wanted to... What was your... Was it the... There was a 10 minute timeout because you were talking about password. We were making password jokes. And I was just like, eh, that's making me uncomfortable. Um, no harm done, man. No, no worries at all. Um... I think I just want to keep both of these. Maybe not. I want to keep you on top and I'll bottom you. If y'all go in my way. I couldn't apologize for... That's actually the awkward thing where you time someone out and you're like, oh, well... You know, if they were going to stop or if they feel bad. It's, I didn't actually time you out. I'm not sure who did. So uh, it might have been Pernicious Dude wielding his sword like a mighty mod. Pat, I appreciate the apology, though. No worries. Not a not a huge deal. Wow, that was rude. That's also a creature I really don't care about at all. I'm almost tempted to Snapcaster Preordain here because it sets us up for some decent things. I'm going to do that. Oof. I don't like this because we can't do it immediately. We also already have a five drop. I'll keep this because we can just cast it. And if we need to find a land with it, it's fine. Also, we have Imperial Recruiter to get Kiki Jiki. And they missed the land drop, so I guess it doesn't matter. I, yeah, I don't. If you're actually apologizing and you waited the ten minutes that you were timed out to come back and still apologize after, I think that's the exact opposite of an asshole. To be quite honest with you, get wrecked. <laughs> I'm gonna take this locust god, and we're just gonna go ham on six drop boys. Well, them six drop boys are at it again. I'm just gonna play this guy and attack. What are you going to do? Counter it? Go ahead. I dare you. Well, them six drop boys are at it again. What are they doing here? What's going on? Boop. Uh, no exert. 
No exert needed. Counter with your two black, one red. I dare you. I dare you. And good game. You traveled to my magic events? Not really, no. I will be going to Grand Prix Denver, though. So. So that's a thing. In mid October, I'm playing with, with two friends from Seattle. I'm playing with my friend Mike and my friend uh, Nehemiah, which is super sweet. Looking forward to that. Okay, take it easy, phone. That's a six ass boy. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty funny. Um, what do they have? They just have a bunch of nerds. I think I just want Fiery Confluence to just burn them out. We can't hit a Planeswalker with this, which is super unfortunate. Frank, can I invite you to an FNM event way out of your way with no events around just to hang out? Yeah, definitely. Definitely do that. Make sure you invite me and keep me updated whenever anything in the event changes in any way. If something changes, let me know. If like if you if you change it from five to five fifteen p.m., make sure I know. Um, if it gets canceled and moved to the next day, make sure I know. Just I, I have to be updated at all times of this event. That's not even close to me uh, from someone I don't know. That's that's something I personally need. Coulter guys, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate it. This hand's fine. Oh, that's a good, that's a good dude. Boop. Someone said that's a bold move. Oh man, I hate it when they say that because that's the common, for some reason that's, that became common parlance when it's actually, that's a bold strategy, Cotton. The strategy is bold. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yeah, the the believe it or not, the sword of fire and ice is a good is a good. Uh... Oh, we did bring in fiery confluence. God, we're so good at this game. We have to hit it though. <laughs> we we have to hit it. We can't redirect the sword equip no, because your creatures are not legal targets for their equipment. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it really, really. All right, we're gonna instructionist this. And we get to draw a card. Oh, that's a that's your boy. Well, that's good in the future, but right now it's kind of obnoxious. I wish we had a turn this turn sooner, then we can just kill whatever they try to equip. I mean, theoretically we could draw Kiki Jiki and land. Okay. Well, it's halfway there. Grim Lava Mancer. I mean, we don't have Anger of the Gods. We boarded in Fiery Confluence. We don't need both of those things against this deck. Like, that's overkill. All they have is 1-3s and 1-1s and 2-2s. Two and, like, they're not threatening on their own. Interesting. I'm gonna take three here because I think you're trying to I think you're up to something. I really wonder why you didn't equip though. But being able to untap with Grim Lava Mancer is pretty baller. Do we just I think we just play Pestermite and hope to untap because we can actually try to kill this guy? No, we can't. We don't have anything in the graveyard, unfortunately. I think we still do it. Q 
Okay, take one time. Oh, Legacy's lure. Good, not great. Good, not great. Good, not great. Did I say good, not great yet? This guy's real good because you can tap this guy down. Now we don't have a response to this. Ooh, it's pretty bad. Ugh, Legacy's lure. Why you do this? I mean, we could Legacy's Allure. Actually, I mean... Yeah, I'm really tempted to just kill the CGN Commander. You can target anything. It doesn't matter. You can target whatever. The creature doesn't have to... The creature doesn't have to have power less than the number of counters. It just has to... Oh, it does, actually. Interesting. Gain control of target creature with power. I guess you, I guess you do. All right. Well, so be it. Life is a highway. Yeah, that had to happen. Unfortunately, otherwise they could just machine gun down everything we have. Spell sight can only take so much. It was only really a one for one. We traded a CG. Yeah, it's not really because they got three goblins out of it, so. Uh huh. You got it. I mean, you should have targeted Pestermite and made me, made me pay the life. It's, but, you know, what can you do? Why'd you keep Baleful Strix back here? It's interesting. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Why haven't they equipped this? I don't understand. Like, Pestermite's pretty much dead here, right? I guess we're just passing here. I mean, the top card's going to be Kiki Jiki because it's going to be like uh, a turn too late, unfortunately. Oh wow! I didn't know. That. I did. I didn't think they knew how to do that. Whew. Surprise! I don't know why you didn't do that sooner. I literally have no idea why you wouldn't have done that four turns ago. Sure. All right, so Kiki Jiki, not really a super combo anymore. <laughs> More of, okay, we're having a good time. Oh boy. Maybe they misread Spell Skite. Did they think I could equip this to the Spell Skite? Because that's pretty hilarious. That would be amazing if that if that was the case. If that's what they thought. Preordain for those. All right. Well. That's fine. It happens. Let me see if this voicemail is anything. It's clearly a long one. Literally my insurance company. And they're like, hey, this is your health insurance. I don't know what you want. I'll figure it out later. Ah, uh, this hand's fine. Some of the legacy trials thought you could kill a planeswalker with a creature with death. <laughs> I'll tag your planeswalker. It has death touch. What problem is? 
Matt with numbers. Take it easy, buddy. Man, someone should tell them Spellskite does not work in such a way. I was really hoping that would be an, a, a mountain so that we could lightning bolt this idiot, but... A rocky mountain high. It's your boy Tom. What's up, buddy? Long time no see. Colorado. I can still lightning bolt it. I don't even care. That dude's lightning boltable forever. Ooh, we're so good at this game. What's wrong with the cur God, Hunter? Thank you. <laughs> God, Hunter, why you act like this? You act a damn fool. If your name is Edge23235, are you really that edgy? If you have to add five numbers after your after your edge, I wonder if you're really that edgy. Let's see if they miss a land drop. Oh, they did miss a land drop? Get him. Get him. They also didn't they also didn't pump him twice with no play here. That's fascinating to me. Okay, well our hand is amazing now. This chat will turn on you. Yeah, you're probably right. He's a cutie. God, he's so handsome. Right, Chief? He didn't hear me, which is probably for the best. Oh, he did hear me. Here he comes. He's like, did you just call me? Did you say Chief? Oh no. Oh no. Never. Never. Yeah, he knows if I say chief he that I'm talking to him. He knows. Oh, I actually do want to keep this. And now we're just gonna sit behind control magic, control magic removal, snapcaster removal. That feels good, right? Did you go hunting with him? No, I, I would never go hunt with him. We are friends of animals, not destroyers of animals. I see. This is how you want to be? Okay. Feels like 107? Oh, God, Matthew. Do you hear that dog? I just heard a little doggo bark in the distance. And it was not Hunter, and he's probably like, who do you think you are? I will put you in the graveyard. Six drop incoming. Ooh, an impulse. I mean, we could go Snapcaster Lightning Bolt, which takes care of both of the night tokens. That also does all this impulse as well. What do you think about the whole DC movie, movie universe falling apart? Um, I think it was literally... A long time coming. I, I don't... I'm not surprised by it in the least. I don't feel like they have... They've taken any time. They really want that quick... It's the marshmallow test of movie industries. Are you guys familiar with the marshmallow test? Anyway, the marshmallow test is where you offer a child a marshmallow. And you say, you can have this marshmallow now. Or, if you wait a few hours, you can have two marshmallows. And the marshmallow test is basically used to determine... Um, more successful people, the more successful people tend to, um, tend to wait. And then they'll, you know, cause they, they don't go for the instant gratification. They go for the long-term payoff, like a better long-term result. So, um, the DC universe is the kid that, uh, got the marshmallow at, actually we can wait for this. Let's announce blockers first. The DC Universe is the kid that took the marshmallow immediately. The Marvel Universe is the kid that's like, no, no, I'll wait and I'll take the two marshmallows in a couple hours. And the two marshmallows ends up being an entire 17, 18 movie franchise uh, over the course of 10, 10 years. Is it 10 minutes? I, I mean, it's different. I've heard much. I mean, I think it's it, the, the entire the point of the experiment is I don't think it's 
I don't think there's any set standard of time. I've definitely heard a couple hours. You're going to save this guy? Wow. The DC looked pale compared to Marvel because they, they didn't put any time into it. They just rushed everything. And they're like, hey, let's make this huge. Can you imagine if Avengers was like the third movie that came out? Where it was like Iron Man, Captain America, Avengers. But instead they had like uh, Iron Man, Captain America, Iron Man like 2, um, the Hulk, Thor. Like they had like an entire, I'm going to take Electrolyze here. But instead they were just like uh, Man of Steel. Wonder Woman, Avengers. And you're like, but who is the Flash? Who is who is uh, Cyborg? Who are these characters? I don't understand. Why do I care about all the, any of these characters? Um, yeah, you can hit the bin. We'll get this land. Oh, that's a good, that's a good boy. You're an 18 movie franchise. <laughs> You're an 18 movie franchise. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I'll, I'll, I accept that. I accept your 13, your 18 movie franchise terms. Actually, I don't even know what it is now. I don't even know how many there are. How? Hunter was staring at a spot on the floor, and I was just like, "Is there a bug there? Do you know something I don't? What is this? Oh, crying out loud! Stop playing threats that I can't just take." Why does Superman's face look terrifying? Um, do you mean Superman or Henry Cavill? Because <laughs> those aren't the same guys. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna shoot and shoot. I don't think you. Yeah, but you. I mean, you have to. You don't have to. I don't think you have to watch all 18 to get a payoff. Like you can watch every individual movie as its own payoff. They're all great. Um, no, I would not put you into the graveyard. Let's see what we can hit here. Oh, discard you. You have no pressure right now. Do you think the Marvel Universe gets wrapped up after the last Avengers? No, I don't think there's any reason for them to do that whatsoever. Why like what what benefit do they have to do that? Like, they've already recruited... They have Captain Marvel, which is a brand new franchise, which they can expound upon indefinitely. Um, we know Chris Evans is leaving, so it's a great opportunity to have Sam Wilson become Captain America, just like the comics. I have... Yeah, I watched Ant-Man and Wasp. I watch all Marvel movies in theaters. Um, no, I, I this, this franchise has infinite stories left to tell. There's It makes no sense whatsoever to... Uh, To wrap it up. Like, they have no incentive to do so. They just got the Fantastic Four and the X-Men back. Um, let's get Imperial Recruiter to get... You know what we're getting. And there's still so many stories to tell. Like, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stories left to tell in Marvel. All the wings of love, only the two of us. What did they do right there? They killed all our lands, that's friggin' amazing. <sighs> I'm so tired of losing to Ravages of War and Armageddon, so like, it's absolutely obnoxious. It's just not even fun. Like it's one of the least fun things you can have happen in in stupid in the in the cube. Like it's just not even. Yeah, the group will have to reset. They'll hundred percent have to reset their characters. But there's several people who can take over as Iron Man. Uh, there's several people who can take over as Thor. There's several people like Jane Foster as Thor would be fantastic. Yep. Do we even have five more lands in our deck? <laughs> oh boy. 
I already, I already actually aired my opinion on the James Gunn thing. I think it was actually ludicrous that James Gunn got fired for something that happened years ago. Um, I think as human beings, we tend to not allow people who've made mistakes to change. And uh, I don't think his tweets of nine, ten years ago had anything to do with uh, his work or his current, uh, his current attitude or demeanor. I do not think James Gunn should have been fired. I also don't think he should have been trashed in the media. Because that's also a ridiculously terrible feeling. Yep. Just basically losing here because we got ravages of war. Kiki Jiki Pestermite in hand. Ravages of war. I mean, we're definitely boarding out one of these at least. All right, let's do this. There we go. Didn't lose yet, but I don't really know what we can draw here that's going to save us. Definitely not that piece of garbage. Okay. I'm tempted to just board in a bunch of aggressive things. I'll keep this hand. Somewhere out there, beneath the pale moonlight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Tom Hiddleston is not done with his role as Loki. Oh, that was a good one. B aggressive top five superhero movies ever. Ooh, that's a that's quite a list. I'll play Magneto. I'd have to. I'm I'm getting. I'm almost like. I'm gray. I'm I'm pretty gray on the sides. Yep, that card's annoying. Oh, that guy comes into play and then just ends up tapped. Yep, not going to get in there. That seems sad. Yeah, but the fact that we can have Bucky or Falcon be cap is pretty good.
This card's good. I kind of just want to draw here and see if I can hit a removal spell. Well, Glorybird comes into play tapped, so I don't think it's as good as you think it is. I'm going to give it one more turn. We're going to play Spellskite. And I am going to play this land. And if you just happen to have Ravages War here and you want to go for it, knock yourself out. I mean, don't, because that so still sounds not fun, but... Now we at least have a blocker. Okay, you're still playing lands, so I don't think you're Ravaging anytime soon. I'm more of a Marvel guy. I've always been more of a Marvel fan. I do like DC a lot, though. I think DC's great as far as comic goes. Comic goes, as far as comic goes, as far as comics go. Um, okay, well, none of these are Fansnaznik. Actually, I think we just play Pestermite and tap this down. Because then if we Jace again and hit an answer, we can Kiki Jiki and kill her. We can Kiki Jiki and kill her. Oh, wow. What's happening right now? Avison. Well... That is unfortunate. Yep, not going to actually tap that guy down because we just lose a... Now, Pestermite to save it doesn't do anything because then we lose Jace. I'd rather just tap down one of them. Tap down the Avacyn on their turn so that Jace doesn't die. Probably just block with Baral as well. I don't really care about Baral at this point, but I do want to keep Pestermite alive. Also, if they ravage us here, it's pretty backbreaking. We're probably just dead. Okay, they played a land, so that's a good sign. That doesn't get anything. All right, that's cool. Hmm. I really just want to kill this stupid... Frost Titan's not bad. Alright, well, I don't know what we're doing here. This is really obnoxious, like surprisingly obnoxious. I guess we just play Glory Ringer this turn. Oh my god. We're not Kiki comboing because they have a card called Thalia Heretic. 
Heretic Cathar on the board that doesn't let us do that. <laughs> oh, God. We don't actually just win. How do we just win? Oh, we can actually just play Kiki Jiki. I see what you're saying. No, it, does, it still doesn't win. That doesn't make any sense. Waiting until... What, we, guys, if we start to Kiki combo, all of our creatures come into play tapped. Like, it doesn't do anything. I don't understand what you guys think is going to happen. This one card is surprisingly obnoxious right now. And if we end up killing it with a glory bringer, then everything flips and it kills Pestermite. If we get Thally off the board, we lose our Pestermite. So Kiki Jiki combo is almost off the table at this point. Plus they can get her back with Sun Titan. This is actually a pretty oppressive combination of things. I mean, we could play this in hopes that we draw... I think we're just playing this. In hopes that we draw... If we draw a Lightning Bolt or something, then we just get the combo off. And they have to have an answer. They have to have two answers. So... 6, 7, 12... This is 16 damage on board, so... Uh, how can we tap them down? We make we get to make one copy. If we're not untapping Kiki Jiki to tap one of their guys down, then then we only get one trigger. Avison flips during the next turn. It doesn't flip when it happens. Avison says at the beginning of the next <laughs> for Christ's sakes. <sighs> All right, that was just not fun to play against, unfortunately. Thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, and uh, I'll see you next time. Hopefully we'll have better luck. Today has not been an ideal day for uh, for these drafts, so good times. Thanks for watching. See you next time.